Even without star Zion Williamson, the New Orleans Pelicans completed a 105-98 win over the Sacramento Kings in the NBA's play-in tournament, setting up a series against the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. The Kings, meanwhile, are eliminated from postseason contention. With Williamson out due to a left hamstring strain suffered in Tuesday's loss to the Los Angeles Lakers, the Pelicans relied on their depth. Six New Orleans players, Brandon Ingram, Jonas Valanciunas, Trey Murphy III, Larry Nance Jr., Najee Marshall, and Jose Alvarado, scored double-digit figures. Ingram led the Pelicans with 24 points, while Valanciunas, 19 points, added a team-high 12 rebounds. The Pelicans found their momentum in the second quarter and carried a 54-45 lead into halftime after committing six turnovers in the first quarter. Sacramento pushed to within seven points late in the third, but New Orleans continued limiting a Kings offense led by De'Aaron Fox, who had a game-high 35 points. Demantis Sabonis added 23 points and 14 rebounds for Sacramento, but the squad lacked New Orleans' all-around chemistry on Friday, with the lead ballooning to 20 points with less than seven minutes left. New Orleans shot 51.8% from the field compared to Sacramento's 40.9%. The Pels also shot 36.8% from three, while the Kings were 26.8 from behind the arc. New Orleans, which secured the eighth seed with the win, will play Oklahoma City in Game 1 on Sunday. Despite Williamson's absence, the Pelicans managed to pick up their sixth win over the Kings this year and earn a spot in the playoffs. Ingram had a strong night, accounting for 24 points, six rebounds, and six assists, after getting benched in the fourth quarter of Tuesday's loss to the Lakers. His decision-making on the offensive end was exquisite most of the night. He also got a ton of help from his teammates. Marshall, Alvarado, Nance, and Murphy all provided quality minutes. Valanciunas also held his own in his battle with Sabonis. With Williamson expected to miss at least the first few games of the series against OKC, New Orleans will need the others to continue lifting up B.I. and C.J. McCollum if this team has any chance of putting a scare in the number one seed. A whole lot. Three nights after scorching the Golden State Warriors from deep, the Kings won 11 of 39 from three as a team. Keegan Murray, who hit eight against the Warriors, made only two of his seven and left briefly with a hip issue after an ugly slip and turnover. They were outscored in the paint 56 to 42, giving up several wide-open dunks in the half-court. They turned it over 15 times. They missed seven free throws. Kean Ellis, the Tuesday hero, went scoreless in 27 minutes and was a minus 20. A 46-win season will not end in a playoff appearance. This was still the second most successful year for the Kings in the last 18. Fox and Sabonis were fringe All-NBA candidates. Murray took a leap defensively and has a bright future as a two-way wing. Ellis is a bargain find. Coach Mike Brown has built a respected culture, but there are fair questions about the ultimate ceiling of this core in a difficult conference. Can they re-sign Malik Monk this summer? Can they use their draft picks to land a bigger piece via trade? Can they jumpstart the offense back to a more potent level while maintaining their defensive improvement? Those are off-season questions. The off-season is here. Prior to Friday night, the week had not gone the way Brandon Ingram would have hoped. As the New Orleans Pelicans forward attempted to come back from a bone bruise in his left knee, he had two subpar games as the Pelicans dropped the regular season finale in the first play-in tournament game to the Los Angeles Lakers. Ingram responded Friday and as a result, the Pelicans are headed to the playoffs. Behind a team-high 24 points from Ingram and an all-around defensive effort, the Pelicans defeated the Sacramento Kings 105-98 to advance to the playoffs as the number eight seed in the Western Conference. New Orleans will face the top-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder on Sunday night. This was the goal at the beginning of the year, Ingram said. Throughout it, we had some injuries. We had different things happen, but we had another opportunity today, and we came in and everybody contributed. Following Tuesday's loss, during which he didn't play the final seven-plus minutes, Ingram was in the Pelicans practice facility early Wednesday morning getting up shots and working his way back to find his form. Ingram suffered the injury against the Orlando Magic on March 21st and sat out until the final game of the regular season Sunday. He said it was tough trying to find that rhythm early, but things clicked Friday. 
It's been one of my healthiest seasons, and I was out for three weeks just watching and just trying to stay disciplined, Ingram said. It's hard just trying to stay disciplined, trying to stay locked and knowing I wanted to be out on the floor. I was losing some of my conditioning a little bit and just trying to stay ready. That was three weeks that passed, and I was just coming in and trying to play 30 minutes after all that and be locked in. I was, of course, hard on myself because I didn't think it mattered that I just came off the knee injury. Those first two games didn't go how I wanted to go, but I just wanted to give it all tonight and trust my teammates, trust my stuff, and we ended up winning. One of Ingram's defensive plays ended up being a turning point for New Orleans in the second quarter. After a rough start that included Sacramento scoring 11 points off Pelicans turnovers in the first quarter, New Orleans started to seize momentum in the second. With 7.19 left in the quarter, the Kings got a fast break after another Pelicans turnover. Ingram ran back and fouled Harrison Barnes as he went up for a shot attempt. Barnes missed both free throws, and the Pelicans responded with a quick 7-0 run to take the lead for good. Ingram picked up his third foul with 3.20 left in the second quarter, but stayed in the game after a brief conversation with Pelicans coach Willie Green. 